Uh, welcome to uh, another pen talk. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, today we're going to look at a pen that I just received today, which is another first. It's a Delta Fusion 88, as you can tell from the box. Uh, there's been a number of reviews of this pen, and I felt encouraged to uh, do another review of it, and basically because of the purchase that I did. I went uh, and purchased this from eBay. Nice uh, thank you note from the, uh, the seller from Italy. I think the price was extremely reasonable. Uh, we'll show you the uh, eBay listing and the seller has a number of Delta pens and other pens from Italy for sale and they are excellent. So I think we uh, uh, need to take advantage of this, and I've never had a Delta before. This pen has the Fusion nib, which makes it unique. I got it in fine. Uh, primarily, this is a, a pen for my significant other. So let's take a, you know, a quick look at the front of the box. As you can see, uh, very just tastefully done, really nice. And as you open it up, it continues to look nice, and uh, the packaging is unique. As you've probably seen, very reflective. We'll try to keep that out of the view. This has cartridges in it. And we'll take the pen box out of the, uh, the box. Uh, boxes in boxes. You have to remove the elastic cord at one end. And then it slides on this pivot here. As you can see, it's just really uh, looks impressive and there's some transparency and you can see the pen I did get it in fuchsia or we might say purple and as we open up the pen appears very well protected in all of this hard foam material we we'll bring out the pen we have some nice northern light it is snowing at the moment so hopefully that will bring out the color and the depth of the color the accents are chrome or rhodium uh, very nicely styled clip. It's really a classically styled pen done in extremely excellent material. It feels beautiful, very highly polished. And around the, uh, the cap band you can see uh, it follows the same type of font as in the packaging. And it shows Fusion 82. And also hopefully we can pick it up as the engraving. Uh, Delta uniquely numbers almost all of their pens so this one is numbered accordingly it's up into the 3000 so they probably made a bunch of them I don't know whether that numbering is just by color or by the style of the pen and there's just a lot of depth I mean the cast acrylics are certainly one of my favorite materials uh, for a fountain pen uh, you can't beat the aesthetics and the properly finished is just a beautiful pen it's a classic unscrew, and what's also nice is the section material is the same as the barrel and cap, so it's a nice consistent. And we'll take a look at this interesting fusion nib. Got it in fine. It has a gold overlay, which has reputed to have some impact on the ink properties or the flow of ink. Um, again, uh, it's how it writes. You know, and then how it gets there is really up to the pen to deliver. From what I've uh, seen and read, this thing writes very well. Very comfortable to hold. The grip is, um, I would say, slightly on the large side, but it's not a small pen. As you can see, it fits well in the hand. Threads you don't notice. There is a little step here from the cap, but it's not something that's going to interfere, and I would never hold a pen up that high. So we're going to pause for a moment, because every new pen I will flush before I... I use it, so we'll unscrew the barrel, and it's a nice converter, it has the delta on it, and I've read that this is a screw-in, and uh, yes it is, so it does securely position itself within the section, so I'm just going to use a syringe, clean this out, and then we'll ink up the pen and see how it writes. Flushing off camera, and some of the viewers may not be familiar with the method, but this is uh, a bulb syringe. 
purchase a radio shack which if you can find one it's basically for a flux remover there was a um, plastic end to it that you could use to direct to pull off a flux but basically put it on there and it lets you to you know move liquid in and out of the feed this is just something I think is just worthwhile. There's a slight bit of ammonia in the water to uh, cleanse it a little bit. The other thing that's interesting is this is I can tell from the uh, pressure required to expel the liquid through the uh, the feed in section. This doesn't seem to, you know, I'd say it's about a medium flow. I wouldn't say it's a gusher. So we're going to now flush with water and then we'll ink it up. We're back from flushing, so we have a very clean feed. I am um, using um, Irishizuku Murasaki Shibuku, Shibuku. Sorry, my pronunciation is terrible. Uh, it's a very nice ink in the purple family, which I thought would go well with this pen. So we will screw back in uh, the converter. Uncap the ink. Beautiful bottles. We'll uh, dip it into the ink. I like to keep the ink right up to about the section. And we'll usually do this twice to get a nice good fill. As you can see, we're almost 100% full. We'll wipe off the section, get off the excess ink, cap the bottle of ink, always good to do. Put the barrel section back on, bring out our Rhodia dot pad. We'll do some uh, close-up writing also towards the end of the video. So let's see how this uh, puppy performs. So it's a Delta Fusion 82. My first impressions, um, it is a fine nib and I generally have been moving more towards broad and stubs and italics. So this is not a nib that I'm usually writing with. My first impression, a lot of the reviewers have talked about feedback from the nib and I would definitely say this nib provides a substantial amount of feedback. Brian Goulet mentioned it's like a pencil on paper and I think that's a perfect description. So this is a, a different writing experience. The flow looks to be excellent. And it is a little bit on the dry side. Um, the Urshuko ink seems to dry fairly quickly. The color is also a little bit lighter. Um, because of the flow of the ink being on, on the light side. I do enjoy it. I think it is um, an experience that, you know, is unique. And that's one thing that's always nice about pens is all pens seem to have a certain attributes, characteristics, and this is certainly in one of those. It's consistent writer, which I think is also an important part. I've heard this is an excellent daily writer. And I'm always looking for new daily writers, so my I will, I will peruse the eBay site and see what other deltas might be available that might interest me. So we're going to put this one away and... Uh, Hopefully it will be enjoy a long writing history. So, thank you for watching. And after this we'll do a little bit close up of the writing. So Delta provides um, a lot of paperwork with a uh, fountain pen, very nicely done. But the one piece that really uh, caught my eye and attention was this authenticity document which has the uh, actual number that's engraved on the pen 3368 it's signed um, by the person I guess who inspected it 
I'm not certain what this number could be. Could be March 18th of 2015. Interesting, because it's only a few days after that. So, again, this is just everything about this pen is extremely nice and tastefully done. Looks like a demonstrator version, which I haven't seen yet. So, thought I would show you that uh, if you're interested. The uh, pen to paper. This is extremely difficult to write with <laughs> this way, but hopefully you can hear the the nib. It certainly doesn't sing, um, but it does. Um, you know, you're putting pen to paper. A lot of people have talked about this nib, whether they would consider it to be have any flex to it, and I would say um, it doesn't flex, but it is not extremely stiff. And you are oh, the cross strokes. You know, I'd say they're fairly fine. Not, I've had a lot of finer pens. It's certainly not a Japanese fine. But if you want to put a little bit of pressure on the down strokes, you can see that it does lay down more ink, which is nice. I wouldn't put any more pressure on than that. This is not something that you're going to get those tines. As you can see, they they open up a little bit. And again, the nib is extremely beautiful. So hopefully uh, this has been an uh, interesting video for you to watch. So we will sign off and write on. Thanks for watching.